hello friend uh, today we will discuss about the topic cost benefit analysis friends basically this topic pertains to project selection methods and uh, basically this is topic is pertaining to PMP guide and if you are studying the project management you definitely uh, heard this topic and definitely uh, listen about this topic so uh, let's uh, start our topic today uh, I would request please subscribe to my channel and also uh, click on the bell option as well so uh, starts uh, what is basically cost benefit analysis uh, friend just remember one thing cost benefit analysis that means we will consider the cost whenever we are selecting a method a uh, project also we consider the benefit whatever the benefit we are getting from any project basically this is the technique we use normally when we are selecting any project for example uh, you have two projects uh, that uh, the company can start so uh, before starting and before starting or uh, the project where the company can do the cost benefit analysis the cost benefit analysis means that uh, they can do some working uh, some sort of paperwork they can do that how much cost they have to incur uh, on this project and how much benefits they will get after some time from this project so the, uh, the so after getting the ratio after getting the uh, ratio between cost and benefit they can decide uh, they can take decision about project selection that whether either they have to do this project or either they don't have to do this project so just remember the cost benefit analysis means this is basically a technique of project selections and as a project manager you should know about this technique uh, basically you should know this about this technique that which project uh, which technique you should use during the project selection method so remember one thing the project selection uh, cost benefit analysis means the ratio between the cost and the benefit how much cost you are incurring on a project and how much benefit you are getting from the uh, project so this is basically a ratio between the cost and the benefit from a project and this technique is basically used to select a project on basis of cost benefit analysis you can select a project select a project means that you can start a project so, okay uh, that uh, sim in simple manner if the benefits are greater than the cost then definitely you can uh, you can start a project and if the benefits are lower than the cost uh, then that that means definitely you can't uh, you can't start a project because the cost is higher so you are not getting any uh, proper benefit yeah, you will definitely will be in a loss after once the once the uh, once the project will complete also remember one more very important point here that the when we are talking about benefits so uh, benefits could include the in terms of financial uh, revenue etc but also it includes the intangible uh, benefits as also that means like for example uh, to boost the morale of the team uh, so they uh, they they feels better so they can work better so intangible benefits are also included uh, are part of cost benefit analysis not only the uh, tangible uh, tangible mean financial factors and the revenue etc also it includes the intangible uh, factors also like uh, the morale of the team etc okay so now we have i think uh, we have we know now about the cost benefit analysis <coughs> now let's see uh, let's uh, overview the major benefits we will get after the cost benefit analysis basically uh, if you do a proper cost benefit analysis the major benefit you will get that the definitely your revenue and sale will increase why because the method is basically based on the approach that the select the project where the benefits are more and cost is less definitely so definitely if you do a proper cost benefit analysis and you do select a proper and right project it will definitely result the to increase your revenue and sales as well 
also your intangible benefits like uh, em uh, employee safety their morale there it will also be increased why because uh, when uh, you are uh, when you are getting benefits it will definitely it will definitely result in uh, in to improve your employee safety their morale uh, etc et also the you will uh, as a company you will get competitive advantage or market share as gained as a result of the decision basically friend just remember one thing that if you do a right decision after cost benefit analysis you will definitely get better results better results means that uh, uh, your revenue or sale will increase uh, your uh, uh, the morale of the team will also increase your share in the market will increase so the basic benefit uh, after getting the cost benefit analysis is that you uh, definitely uh, you can select a right project and right project will definitely give you benefits like revenue increase uh, increase in the morale of the team and market share increase so that is the these are the main benefits you can get if you do the right cost cost benefit analysis and also select or initiate a right project now uh, coming towards the limitations what are the limitations uh, when uh, we talk about the cost benefit analysis friend uh, remember one thing the projects which are small or mid level projects the cost benefit analysis are a good technique and uh, you can use in uh, this technique in the in these types of project which are small or mid size because uh, uh, you can r take right decisions and uh, you are well informed and take right decisions but whenever we talk about large projects large projects means that a uh, very high cost involved in a very uh, I mean very long very high vision uh, or long term horizon like which for example uh, you can say for example a 10 year project which involve lot lots of cost and uh, a very big vision uh, you have to build in that project so cost benefit analysis is not a good technique in this type of project why because uh, why because normally it fails studies shows that uh, if a very uh, in a very big projects the cost benefit analysis is not a very good technique because it fails to account for important financial concerns for example inflation interest rate varying cash flows and the present value of money so uh, limitation uh, when we talk about limitation limitation is that if the projects are small or mid, uh, mid size then the cost benefit analysis is a uh, uh, good technique to adopt to select uh, so to select a project and when we talk about uh, big projects uh, large projects so uh, very uh, having a very big horizon of a scope so cost benefit analysis is not a good technique and uh, as a company we should not go for it now coming towards a mathematical calculation cost benefit ratio uh, cost benefit ratio means uh, friends uh, remember one thing if your cost benefit ratio is greater than one is you if your cost benefit ratio is greater than one that means the benefits are more than the cost okay if cost benefit ratio is less than one that means the cost is more than the benefits okay are you getting my point cost benefit ratio greater than one means the uh, benefits are more and cost benefit ratio less than means that the cost is more cost benefit ratio equals to 1 means the cost and the benefits uh, which you are which you will get from the project are equal okay so this is basically a ratio now uh, let me ask you a question a very simple question uh, the question is what does cost benefit analysis ratio of what does cost benefit analysis ratio of 1.7 1.7 means uh, if your cost benefit ratio is 1.7 what does that mean there are four options the cost are greater than benefits revenue is 1.7 times the cost 
profit is 1.7 times the cost and costs are 1.7 times the cost uh, sorry uh, 1.7 the 1.7 times the profit costs are 1.7 times the profit so uh, there are four options are available which option you will choose 1.7 if cost benefit uh, ratio is 1.7 which option you will choose a b c or d uh, cost a means the cost is greater than the benefit revenue is 1.7 times the cost profit is 1.7 times the cost and cost are 1.7 times the profit um, I would request just see this option and try to think from your mind which option you will choose and why you will choose friend remember one thing uh, in the PMP exam these types of prof these types of questions you will definitely see in the exam and this is very important to understand the concept of cost benefit analysis you will definitely see a uh, few questions related to project selection method and cost benefit analysis in the PMP exam so coming back to the question uh, what is what will be your answer a b or c c or d let me tell you the answer the answer is b why b because uh, let me show you b is revenue is 1.7 times the cost revenue is 1.7 times the cost because when we talk about uh, uh, 1.7 time means that the 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 revenue the project brings to the organizations are 1.7 times the cost of initiative or uh, starting a project and also remember one thing that uh, maybe you are thinking that why the answer is not C why answer is not C because remember one thing that the cost benefit ratio calculation is looking at revenue not the profits okay remember one thing when we uh, we are, when we are talking about cost benefit ratio it basically talk about the revenue the benefits benefit can be tangible intangible but basically they are talking about the revenue cost benefit analysis is not talking the calculation is not based on the profits it basically based on the revenue so the correct answer is B so this concept should be very clear in your mind whenever you are uh, seeing such types of question in the PMP exam remember one thing that the cost benefit ratio is basically the calculation is basically based on the revenue it doesn't based on the profit so that's why the correct answer is b and the correct answer is uh, and c is not the correct answer so uh, friend i think uh, that uh, you like this video uh, if you like please uh, subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell option and i'm very thankful for that you spent some time after watching this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and uh, i'm very thankful for your for giving me your time and uh, thank you thanks a lot